When it's news following a developing story out of Niagara County right now, a former corrections officer accused of making bombs inside his wheat field garage is officially in federal custody. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Alzapon just got back from court. She has new information. Now that's right, Laura. Michael O'Neill is still in the hospital, but pictures of IEDs and images pointing to discrimination convince the judge that he is still a dangerous man. The U.S. Attorney's Office says on top of IEDs and a homemade pipe bomb, some of that you're just getting a first look at of right now. Investigators found pictures of a KKK leader, the head of a family of Confederate guerrillas, and a neo-Nazi. O'Neill's defense attorney says his client built the explosives to remove tree stumps. The judge asked why would shrapnel be needed in that case. He didn't buy the argument. O'Neill now amputated and in rehab at ECMC will be shackled and in the custody of U.S. Marshals. The judge says it's for the safety of the community. Yeah, I mean, but all, all I'm going to say is I was disappointed with the ruling and we will seek its review. Thank you. O'Neill's mother also appeared in court holding a rosary during the detention hearing this morning. She wanted her son released to her custody and to be able to watch him in an apartment. Now, the judge said that given the fact that the IEDs and possible evidence pointing to discrimination already went unnoticed in a garage when the two of them already lived together, he said he just couldn't let that happen. Rachel Alzapan, 7 Eyewitness News.